Hello guys and welcome to this new course. I'm really excited about it and this will be chapter 1 and we will gonna build this cool line structure here. We will animate this and we will get something like this here. First of all we will go how to build this structure here and we will gonna build some other structures too. So for example something like this, it will pop up in a few seconds, something like this for just an abstract looking maybe for macro environment stuff and we will build something like this. The next one is for more let's say fabric in my opinion and it's pretty cool to get something out of it that looks like this. After that we will go over setting up a um, redshift network and setting up materials for these lines and this course are basically basically two courses so one redshift course we will go all rendering and a little bit of compositing and over redshift overall and we will go over the abstract visuals so let's start with the first chapter Hello guys and welcome to the first part of chapter 1 and we will build now the first abstract visuals, the lines. So we are here in a fresh Houdini scene and let's get started. So place down a geometry node, it's a container for all the subs, so when we dive inside of it and let's rename it to lines. Let's give it a round shape and a black color. So you can look up here, view. You go out let's here on the tools and you can here show palette and the colors C and Z. So the shapes and the colors with C. So now let's dive inside of the network and we will build this up with effect by volumes for the pop top network and first we need to get our particles so let's place down a simple circle here to get something like this let's get the polygons and let's bump the divisions a little bit up maybe something like this and let's get to the C explain. So now we're gonna place down a poly frame. Really like this node. And the normals are in the wrong direction. So maybe you want this that the normals and in the future we will use the normals for the velocity to drive the uh, and the beginning velocity of the particles but I want to just get them out like so and for this we will tick this off here and get to the tangent name and type n and we will get something like this so now let's place an attribute wrangle and we will invert the normals so at normal equals minus at normal oh, semicolon and now we just inverted the normals so let's type here invert normal and let's uh, get a convert line here so we just got this line and let's assign the normal 
to the velocity. So let's get here, create a velocity, and let's write another simple vex function v for velocity at v equals at n, so the normals, and then times a channel float. So we can control the velocities at the beginning and we will call this scale underscore v and at the end make a semicolon, press control enter and click on this little button here to create the channel. So let's place down just a pop network here and we will see that nothing really happens, we just emit particles on the circle. We need to scale here the V up, so let's, let's get it to 1 and now you can already see we will emit particles along the normal. So pretty cool, let's just dive inside the pop net here, let's lay this out a little bit here or something like this. I always make the output red and now we can play with pop wind. Let's get a pop wind here and at the pop source we can change something. So we will use the first convex geometry to scatter the points on it, so the circle, just right. You can for example tick the guide on and off if you want to see it or you don't want to see it. And we will go to the birth tab. And now we will emit at a constant rate of 5000 particles per second, so 1 until 24 frame. This will be 5000 particles, let's have a look at it. Let's go to the geometry spreadsheet to pop object geometry and we will go here when we scroll all the way down yeah 5001 so but I want to only emit a few particles at the first frame so we will deactivate the constant birth rate and the constant activation this should be a toggle in my opinion but let's go to the impulse activation and let's type a simple expression here, so $f f for floating frame equal equals 1. And this will say at frame 1 it will be 1 and emit particles. When there is something like frame 2 it will be 0 and don't emit more particles. So we will emit particles only on the first frame and let's get 250 particles and let's get here to the pop wind and let's play here a little bit with the amplitude so let's get up to 0 point to 0 point to point 0 point 0.9 something like that and let's get a wind maybe in an up direction maybe 0 0.5 Let's dive up with U, or you can just go here, jump back with Alt left arrow, that's the same thing. And let's have a look on this, so let's play here the play button and we will get something like this. So now we can play further, so let's get down a trail here, let's get Bristol Original. That's alright. Let's get a trail length to 240, so our time range. And let's get an add down here, the add node. And the add node will collect, connect these lines here with a polyline. So let's dive inside here. Let's go to the polygon tab by group and we will get a mess because we need not all points, we need by attribute. And when we have a look on it, 
we can see that every point line got an unique ID attribute. And just for now type ID in there and you will see we will get a polyline. So let's get here a node here, let's get a null and let's rename it to out outlines and let's layer them out here and let's layer this out here and let's get here uh, now and let's type in here maybe in emitter geo and we will get something like this so let's play this quick through here let it grow, let it grow. And you already can do pretty cool things with that. So maybe it's an iris for an eye, something like that. Or a underwater plant. And for now we will only got the wind to control the velocity and the nomads. But we want to do this with a velocity field to attract the particles and how we can do it we will go in the second part of chapter one and see you in the next lesson guys